I'm not gonna lie, I really have no idea what calisthenics is. I've never done it. I'm a complete newbie. All I know is that it includes a lot of body weight exercises, which it's not something I'm too familiar with. So I'm nervous about that, and yeah, nervous about trying something new. Calisthenics is a type of workout or exercise which uses minimal tools and equipment. So basically, we heavily rely on our body weight for resistance and muscle building. Calisthenics offer a wide range of full body workout which aim to develop and increase strength, flexibility, mobility, agility, and endurance. So this is good for those people who want to lose the weight, for those people who want to get shredded and toned, and at the same time for the people who want to be challenged to take their workouts to the next level. Okay, so good morning guys. So are you ready for today's workout? Yeah. I think we are. I'm looking around here. It's quite intimidating. I'm used to like a nice air-conditioned gym. I don't want it to sound too spoiled, but this thing is it's kind of intimidating. I really have never done too much body weight things like dips and pull-ups. It's not my kind of training, so I'm looking forward to trying. My name is Mara Paulina Marosigan. I'm an account executive for corporate events. I'm kind of scared because I don't know what's really going to happen. And then I'm also kind of excited because this is something very new. After the warm-up, we went straight into it and did three of these. So 10 pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 knee raises, 10 dips, 10 Australian chin-ups, and 10 squats. And we did that three times. So it was a really good workout. Each exercise will hit a different muscle group. So we have pull-ups for the arms, for the back. We have dips, which will also give you stronger arms. We have squats for the legs. Uh, we have leg raises, knee raises for the abs. So basically, all of your muscle groups will be targeted when you work out with calisthenics. Misconceptions when it comes to calisthenics is that it's only for guys. So actually we have a group of girls here who work out every day, who kick ass every day. And they're one of the strongest women I know. Go Mara! One. Nice Good. one Mara! I did 10 pull-ups, which was really something I have never done before. But it was uh, an experience getting to be able to do three sets of those. It was kind of frustrating uh, at some points because you realize how much strength it entails to be able to do such a simple movement as pulling yourself up. It makes you feel as if, oh my gosh, I have a lot more to work on in terms of strength. The hardest part for me was definitely was the pull-ups. The first time I tried it without the bands, I managed to just about get eight to 10. But then the second and third times, I really needed the assistance of the bands to help me get through the set. So that was really difficult for me. Two to go. I'm not ready. No. <laughs> when I do pull-ups normally, I'm cheating. I'm not going all the way down, but this guy, calisthenics, is really about form, perfect technique. So that's one thing that I'm going to learn from today. Second set. All my life, I've been doing it a certain way, and that's not the right way to do it. I've been cheating, but this time, we did it properly. There are a lot of things that you can do with a proper form, that was very educational for me. You have to do it properly for you to be able to maximize the effects on it on your body. There's a certain way you have to hold the bar. There's a certain way where you have to maximize pulling yourself up and then letting go and going down. But you have to go back to the neutral position before you can pull yourself up again. So it was a lot harder, but then you actually feel that your muscles are working more. I was actually thinking, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to be able to finish this. And then I was psyching myself up and telling myself, it's just then, it's just then. Go through my mind was, I need to get stronger, I need to get better, I need to finish the set. So if I'm getting to six, seven, eight reps and I can't, I'm feeling like I'm struggling, I was just trying to talk myself into finishing. And even if it's half a rep or whatever, I just have to finish the set. Yes! <laughs> Yeah. yeah well done. Well good done. Job. Thanks for coming. That was a good workout, man. Oh, oh. let's have some water. <laughs>
I like teaching calisthenics because I want to see the growth and the progress of my students. I teach it because I want them to feel like I did when I was still a student here in Cali Bars. When I started here, I wasn't able to do any pull-ups at all. I started from zero. And now, I'm able to lift myself, do the muscle-ups, do the freestyles, and all the variations of pull-ups. I want to let them know that they can be stronger, that they can surpass their limits, that they can actually do the workout. One thing I learned about myself during this workout is that the power of the mind is really very strong. There were a lot of moments wherein it was really very difficult already. And you think that, oh my God, I've never, I've never done this before. I don't think I can do this. But then you have to push through. I found that I was helping myself a lot by thinking, okay, you can do this. Okay, this is just 10 reps. So I think there's a lot of mental power that doing this workout entails as well. It was very encouraging that you had other people with you telling you that you can do it, you can finish it. Like what the coaches were telling you, that you can do it at your own pace. Of course, Graham is stronger than all of us, but it made us feel that even with his strength, he was still having a hard time. I was a newbie just like the other guys. Even though I'm supposed to be a professional athlete, it was also new to me. I'm a team player, so that really motivates me when I see someone next to me that's in the same boat. She's helping me out and I'm helping her out kind of thing, so it really helps working in a team. Just like any other stuff, uh, success doesn't come overnight. So if you want something, you have to work hard for it. Same with calisthenics. So people sometimes get intimidated with a different uh, workout. So a good note is to never get intimidated whenever you feel that things are difficult. So you have to start now, start right away, show up, commit, and in the end, eventually you'll come out victorious.